July 22, 1893, after admiring the majestic view from the top of Pikes Peak near Colorado Springs, Colorado, poet Catherine Lee Bates wrote the hypervisual, thought-provoking, and soul-moving poem, America the Beautiful, which many consider to be the greatest American patriotic poem and song of all times. In an article published in 1918, Bates, a poet, travel writer, and essayist explained the poem's history. She began composing this hymn while traveling west in 1893 with a group of teachers from New England. After a long ride to the summit by horse and finally mule-drawn wagon, a brief view of Pikes Peak provided a panoramic spectacle that was the inspiration for Purple Mountain Majesties. A later visit to Chicago's Columbian World Exhibition with its white neoclassical design exhibition buildings inspired the image of alabaster cities in the final stanza. And while traveling by train through Kansas, the wheat fields stimulated the memorable phrase, amber waves of grain. Oh beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. The search for a tomb for this poem was not easy. In her 1918 account, Bates notes that more than 60 tunes had been written for her text. In 1926, the National Federation of Music Clubs held a contest for a tune, but none of the approximately 600 entries were deemed suitable. Today, America the Beautiful is almost exclusively sung to Samuel A. Ward's Materna. The only pay that the author ever received for her poem was a small check for its appearance in a periodical. Bates continued to make changes to the poem until it was published in its final form in 1911. And now we know. And knowing is half the battle.